Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the reaction. Today we watched Small Babylon 5, and uh, yeah, we're going to season 1, episode 15. But yeah, last episode was TKO. A really great episode, actually. I feel like you know, I feel like a lot of people were not like that episode because it didn't actually contribute to the plot at all, really. We only learned like the backstory of Ivanovo more, but it was a very standalone episode. But I honestly thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought it was actually really good. I loved how fun it was, man. The whole boxing stuff with Garibaldi and uh, the boxer and the whole um it's like, it wasn't Muay Thai, it's like a weird variation of it, where it's just like bare knuckle fighting basically. Like a Muay Thai, it's like an alien version of Muay Thai or something, I don't know. All of that was so fun, it was so nice to actually see like a kind of a break. It was just such a fun, like light-hearted um, plot, and I really enjoyed it, honestly, it was really good. And I love how in the end it was a draw, and then there's mutual respect between the boxer and the other guy. Um... When at the start, like, they kind of just hate each other, like, he just thought, like, oh yeah, I'm gonna destroy you, but at the end, uh, they had mutual respect for each other. But definitely last episode, the best plot was Ivanova, or Ivanovo, sorry, and just kind of learn more about her character, like, the way she acts, and it, it was a very centric um, Ivanovo episode, and it was all about her father and the emotions, like, she's basically just bottled up. Like, she has suppressed so much emotions because her father died, which we did actually see in a previous episode, I can't remember what episode it was, but it was an episode early on in the season, like, a very... Uh, well, towards the start it was, uh, I believe, and we had that, and then, like, Garibaldi was talking to her, saying, uh, like, oh yeah, it's fine, I can't remember, but it was ages ago, but I do remember that scene, and of course, since then, she's kind of just bottled up all the emotions, like, suppressed all sense of, like, grief, and, and sorrow, and just threw herself into her work, it completely ignored the fact that her father died, although she said, like, yeah, he never showed any love to me, um, like even after my mother, which was a psychic who died, which was awful. I remember that story as well. That was such a horrifying um, story that we heard about Ivanovo's mother. Who she kept getting injected that it was so bad. She just killed herself. And even after that, her father didn't like show any emotion, any love towards Ivanovo. It just like kind of distanced her from him. And then, like, uh, I think her siblings died, and everything went to shit, basically. And her father did not comfort her, did not do anything, didn't show any love. Um, See, so it, it's understandable why she acted that way. And you can definitely understand it from her point of view. But at the end of the day, no matter how messed up, like, your family is, like, dysfunction of the family, like, no matter how bad the expressed emotion is or whatever, all of that stuff, they are still your family at the end of the day. Like, they could do the most horrific things and yet you still feel for them. It is a biological thing. Like, even, even the horrific, like, scenarios where people are, I mean, I'll try and keep a light heart, Jesus Christ, but, but people are raped and, like, tortured and stuff by their own parents, like... Although you hate them with every single ounce of your flesh, there's still something there because they're uh, your biological father or mother, which is kind of just, it just shows how powerful that connection is really, doesn't it? But we also saw um, a thing where he was saying like, I know I failed you as a father, but I always respected you, you was always great, um, like doing you, but I never showed any love and I'm sorry for that. And that was right before he died. So at the end of the episode, Ivanova, or I keep saying Ivanova, Ivanova, sorry. Uh, she went to the, uh, the rabbi, rabbi, no, I, I don't know, what do you call him, rabbi, Ra it is rabbi, yeah, rabbi, uh, the guy who was actually a legend, that, that guy was such a nice guy, and they actually did, uh, Shara, I believe it was called, the whole Jewish religious thing, where they kind of send off the dead, I, I don't, I don't know much about, like, Shara, but I have heard of it, so yeah, they did that little thing, and uh, yeah, oh my god, as well, Jeff Sinclair last episode, I swear to god, what does a Jeff do? Jeff is honestly the best boss, the most amazing friend, like, he is just such a great guy, isn't he? Like, what the hell? Like, he was saying, take as long as you need, I'm here for you, like, literally the best boss ever, I swear to god, man, you could not ask for a better boss at all. If you need anything, Jeff's got your back, like, ah, oh, brilliant. Um, but yeah, overall, really great episode, I really enjoyed it, man, and I'm excited to see um where the rest of season one will take us i'm looking forward to actually continuing the main storyline uh last episode was like a nice little break but i'm ready to dive deep i'm ready to get into the the massive plots and uh, all the the mysteries the stories everything so uh yeah i cannot wait to do that uh so yeah i don't think there's anything else i do want to discuss i just want to get straight into this episode so uh yeah this will be babylon 5 season one episode 15 i think it's titled grail so yeah what the hell could that mean grail um, I've not heard that word in ages. <laughs> I don't know what that could mean. Like, the only thing I could think of is Holy Grail. Like, something that you go out to search for. Like, something that you want to get, like, really bad. Like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on the search for Holy Grail. Or, it's the Holy Grail of this or that. Like, that kind of saying. Like, oh, it's the Holy Grail of coffee. I don't know. Or Holy Grail of food. Like, pizza. So, maybe it's gonna be some sort of, like, valued object. Maybe it's the, um, Londo's thing. The 
piece of jewelry. It could be to do with that, maybe like the Holy Grail of the Centauri Empire. Who knows? But yeah, let's move up line five, season one, episode 15, titled uh, Grail. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's just straight into this. All right, so this episode is titled Grail. And uh, yeah, let's just straight into this. Technology. It feels like it's picking up like straight away. I don't know. They say food digests better if you chew it first. Don't talk. I've seen you eat. Oh, Delen. Delen's there. Commander Sinclair. Interesting. I'm to see you. That looks so nice, Aren't that fruit. Aren't you going to greet our distinguished guest? His ship is docking even now. We wanted to be among the first to offer our reverences. I wasn't informed. You will just have time to change, if you... What the hell? To think that you have such a man among your people. We must uh. not keep him waiting. What the hell is up with Delenn? Here it is for you. Oh we my god. If Delenn thinks this is someone special. Got it. <laughs> that food did look amazing though. Can't lie. What has happened this episode? Think so. You know the ins and outs of B5 better than anybody. I don't know that much, Deuce. Honest. I was just a construction worker. You know, big structural stuff. Dude, just do the house of sky. I can't be a part of that. Well, that's too bad. That means I'm gonna have to buy that data somewhere else. So you're gonna have to pay up on those old debts with interest. Oh. Hundred thousand credits. Her name is Miriam Running Deer. She talked to the ombuds about me. Even agreed to testify today. I told her that was a mistake. But some people never get the message. Oh. Oh my god, what is that? Do you get the message, Jinxo? What the fuck is that? Good. Now, I'm giving you 300 cycles to either get me the credits you owe or the information I need. 300 cycles, Jinxo. That's all I can afford. Because by then, you'll be hungry again. <laughs> Won't you, Ambassador Kosh? Oh! Ten years that after the North Minbari War, the Babylon Project was a dream given form. Its goal to prevent another That's war interesting. by creating That's really... a place where humans oh my and God, aliens wait. could work out their nah, differences. Nah, I can't be right. The immortality thing. Home away that from um, for diplomats, death walk created. It's not the same thing, but it said how you'd have to sacrifice Humans people for immortality, right? And that's what Kosh has done. So metal. maybe that's how Kosh maintains his immortality. He literally just it kills people, takes place, their soul. But it's our last best hope. No, that peace. makes sense, right? This is the story of the last of the yeah, Babylon stations. Yeah, this episode's been good. He couldn't get a job. His children were shut out from everybody in town. Nobody believed him. And that's why I'm here today, Your Honor. We went through their archives and we found proof that his great-grandfather huh. abducted my great-grandfather and just took him away in a spaceship. Frankly, Your Honor, we want damages. <laughs> what? How do you feel? Oh, that's hilarious. What? Could I please have a translation team in here? Why is it Ombud Zimmerman never gets these cases? Only me. Can you imagine that? Like alien abducting people, then generations later suing the alien. And like that's just. Oh, these writers are brilliant, man. This guy's so creepy. I didn't even fully understand what he was supposed to do. Either free. No, 100,000 credits or get information. You've met him before? No. I take it that you are Lanier. Yes. I'm very pleased. This is Commander Sinclair. This is my security chief, Mr. Garibaldi. I'm sorry, Mr. Gaich, but I... Just all of us, please. I'm afraid I wasn't notified that you were coming, nor why. That's entirely my fault, Commander. Known also as the Cup of the Goddess. Or by its more Grail. common name. The Holy Grail. Okay, actually it's the Holy Grail. <laughs> I was the joking about that in the intro, but... What kind of help? I assure you, I seek only knowledge. All the funds of my order are at my disposal, although I regret to say at this time I am the entire order. But if you have uh, any doubts, please feel free to investigate. We look forward to meeting with you at the appointed hour, honored seeker. 
<laughs> oh, uh, Commander, I don't mean to bother you, but I need to exchange some credits if uh, you could point the way. Mr. Garibaldi can show you to the nearest exchange machine. <laughs> Mr. Garibaldi? Yes, I will, Jeff. Don't worry. Mr. Garibaldi would be delighted. This one. <laughs> I'm sure he would. Mr. Garibaldi would rather be in through. I'm puzzled by your reaction to Mr. Gage. What is it with Delan? Do to his mission? On Earth, I've got is nothing but a, a lot myth. to say about Delan, but I'll wait It's a nice story to tell Donaldson. your kids. For someone who spent his entire life looking for it is... Well, it's not often taken very seriously. Host, what matters is that he strives for the perfection of his soul and the salvation of his race. And that he has never wavered a lost faith. Yeah, I, I you... guess so. He's probably the only true seeker like we have. Then perhaps you do not know yourself as well as you think. No, I don't like you. <laughs> it's so weird, man. Please hear Jeff's still investigating her. Sinclair. Can you come to med lab right away? We have another brain wipe victim. Oh. No, but what I was saying is the lamb was kind of controlling Jeff. And he just stole something. Oh, it's off that guy as well. Hold it right there. Man, you never get any better at this. Oh, look. I needed the money. I lost my head. Oh, yeah, I want to talk, but I don't want to miss anything. Mr. Guy, it's fused synapses. Barely enough to keep the autonomic functions going. I don't know of any machine that could do that. Can you save hmm. her? Well, she was found right after the wipe, so there is a good chance. I mean, Bari's doing. She's lost her probably. entire life experience, so we'll have to retrain her from infancy back to adulthood. Now, it won't be easy. What? Just got the word. Another lurker had his brain mulched. Make me a happy man. Let me clean out down below. If I put all my teams on it, I could wipe out nine tenths of the crime rate in one sweep. Most of them are just people with nowhere else to go. They come here looking for a new life, a new job, and when they don't find it, they can't afford transport back. What are you going to do, Mr. Garibaldi? Shove them out oh. on an airlock? Don't tempt me. So, who's the victim? Well, she's uh, was Miriam Running Deer. What? She ran that shop in Red 26. She was the only person with enough guts to testify against that lurker rat Deuce in his protection racket. The trial's today, and he's going to walk oh, free because okay. she's lying in there reduced to a rutabaga. Go ahead and tell me that's the course. And why put some Now, can I take the place apart? Now you can give the ombuds the bad news. I'll consider the down below problem later. Doctor, I need more information on what is causing these brain wipes. We have to know whether or not it's tied to Deuce. This is your third arrest for petty. Not to mention incompetent thievery. I love we seeing like a court mob line Now you have an excellent history as a grade 10 zero gravity constructor on all five of the Babylon stations. You are barred from re-entry to this station for a period of five years. You can't do that! I've got to stay here. Please! I don't care what you do to me. Put me in jail. Make me clean the methane toilets. I don't care! I've got to stay on the station or it's the end of the station. And every man and woman and child and alien on the station. Just like all the others. Approach. You seen the Holy Grail? <laughs> yes. Well, no, I like this character there. Oh, here he is. Garibaldi is not like this guy at all. Although does he I do's? fear I may have temporarily taken leave of my sanity, I hereby withdraw my former judgment and remand Thomas into the remedial custody of Aldous Gaich. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that'll be interesting on why he wants to keep him. 240 cycles, Leah. Seriously? This guy's with a dumbass thing. Showing himself in front of everybody. You stand accused of extortion. How do you plead? Not guilty. Will Miriam Running Deer come forward, please? Miriam's in med lab. Just barely alive. She's been brain wiped. Is there ah. other evidence to be presented? The secondary evidence previously submitted is insufficient. I deeply regret this, Mr. Garibaldi, but I am unable to proceed without a witness. For some reason, I completely forgot. Case dismissed. That the start of the episode, so the woman who was in the chair. I've never even seen you before. That cost um, whatever the hell he did, like on his, like a, like a snake or something, on the forehead. That was her in the chair, who's now her brain is now white. So blow up or disappear or something what the else hell is it with Kosh? Come on, laugh. Everyone else does. But it's real. The Babylon curse. No, I'm not laughing, Thomas. I understand obsession very well. 
I've spent the better part of my life searching for something that no one else believes in. And I will continue searching until I die. Listen, you've been decent to me, so I gotta warn you. About 200 cycles from now, that guy Deuce is gonna send his hooks for me. When that happens, promise me you'll get off the station right then and there. Take any ship, do whatever you gotta do, just get off this, get it? Did you ever wonder what really happened to the first four Babylon stations? Oh. I did. I don't have the curse. I am the curse. Huh. I'm not sure if I believe that one. I was too young to I believed a lot of stuff, but I don't so know if I believed that. When I got the chance to work space construction, I jumped for it. Since infrastructure collapsed. A sabotage. They never found out who. I remember. So I went to work on the second one. The firm still owned by contract until the station was finished. I took leave a second time, and that station was sabotaged. Huh. And then when B3 blew up, well, that's when I got the name Jinxo. When I went to work on B4, I didn't take any leave. I was there every minute until we finished it. The minute I left, so Ring when they decided cold. to build B5, I had to work on it. And I have to stay. I have to. I'd say that you have the wrong nickname. They should have called you Lucky. How do you figure? To have escaped the worst each time, that's a... I understand how you feel, but you can't post security men that's everywhere interesting. Just, just to wrinkled. catch deuce in the act. Just you need to find everywhere just I really to catch do like that guy, actually. That you guy need to find another character. witness. The only good Nakaleen is a dead Nakaleen. Well, that's interesting. This is, of course, a purely theoretical question. A whim of yours that, that you might ask, yes? Well, not really. If you want me, I'll be in my quarters, under top security. I strongly oh. suggest you do the same. God, Londo is terrified. Well, that is not a good sign. Or is he just being dramatic? He can't tell Londo. It is my sorrow to tell you that a grail is not in the possession. And I am grateful beyond my ability to express it. I have sent word back to my homeworld which will then be relayed to all of our outposts and colonies. If there is any news about this grail, our people will find you and bring it to you. That's really Why nice. Why is the lens so I mean, invested with the war, this? I figured you folks would, well, you know. There are two castes of Minbari, the warrior caste and the religious caste. The warrior caste would not understand. I heard there was a problem. More food, richer food, older mines, wants more wines. We're already setting it up. Find Jinxo and the Ombuds. Bring them here. I'm tip do so for sure. I'd like to avoid that as long as possible. Commander. Oh. Just finished the new test. It's definitely Hello, a Franklin. After factoring in the Centauri brainwave differences, patterns are almost identical. All right, that's all we need to know. Run a check on the registry and inventory of every ship that passed through the Centauri sector and docked here in the last 90 days. It doesn't days. make sense, though, this doesn't. Maybe he knows how feeder if that's board. a link to that, then that must mean that species that is inside agreed to the armor, cautious armor, and Is that's what the Vorlands are. The Vorlands are yes. that species in Question armor. Is, a genuine what? Something. One person's Scarby. lunatic is another's true seeker. You've been hanging out with the Len too much. That's a good, <laughs> that's a good line, actually. I don't care episode. who authorized it. Oh, I don't care God. how old the quarantine is. I don't care about the budget. And I certainly don't care about how much trouble it is for you. We're talking about the most dangerous beast in the entire sector. <laughs> Find someone who can say yes Who's and put on the, the quarantine back to? in place. What are they doing in here? He has an appointment. This is Aldous Gaich, the Earther who's looking for the cup object called the Holy Grail. I was hoping with a long trade history between Earth and Centauri... Oh, this guy is so British, man. Oh, my God. Uh, yes, it is, yes. Now I remember. So obnoxiously British. We'll have to do British. a search of our trade history file. However, if you can afford the fees... Ambassador, I've already done it. I thought it would help move things along. <laughs> oh, you know, that... it was an interesting challenge, really. Uh, oh my given God. that you provided us with only minimal description, there's nothing that seems to fit exactly. But Beer. you're more than welcome to examine this. Yeah, he was. Oh my God! What Beer, you, you not understand anything? And the entire Centauri Republic <laughs> will efficient itself to extinction. I think we should leave now. What a wonderful idea! <laughs> Thank you for your time, Ambassador. 
Oh my god. Veer, mate, you're you're getting it now from, from No one else is to come in. Is that clear? Yes, sir. <sighs> Fools to the left. That music as well. Fools to the right. Now I'm the last. But the numbers add up again, Thomas. The numbers do add up. Until such time as both the defendant and the plaintiff... I really like that guy. That guy's a great character. He really is. ...to the problem of jurisdiction. Got such a soothing like, characteristic to him. For 30 minutes. Such fiction. an interesting character this as well. This court will recess. For 30 minutes. All rise. Is he going to get attacked by Kosh? <laughs> you never know. So what does this grail look like? Is it made of gold, jewels, that sort of thing? I don't know. Well, I've seen it. the judge you can has find been something kidnapped. If you don't even know what it looks like. Sometimes it's the search that counts, not the finding. Hey, Jinxo, so. it's time. Oh, shit. We've come to collect. Wait, you gotta listen. I think this guy's some, this like, is master my is under my in martial arts. Please leave. Get lost. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Shall we go? It is um man oh Morgan man, from The Walking that. Dead. I mean it was great, but you don't know what Oh, they're gonna be so Hey, can I learn to do that? You can learn whatever you want to learn because you are a man of infinite promise and goodness. Oh, come off it. The very fact that you're still here on B5 is proof of that. You care so much for the people on this station that you stay here at the risk of your own life. Yeah, this you guy is actually such a great character, Thomas. such a great guy. See yourself for what you are. I completely misjudged Not him at the start. Like one of the weirdo. Yeah, I like this guy. This guy is such like a, and he's like a character of wisdom. He's, he knows things. Well, Thomas, he's skilled. This is our last stop. If he doesn't know where oh. it is. I'll have to move on. Posh. Now this will be interesting. Because will Kosh be there? Because he's... I don't know. So who well, is he now? Ah, uh, Ambassador. No! Here he get is. Get away from him! Get away! We've got to get out of here! He'll eat your mind! Thomas! I saw him! I saw him do it! He sucked your brain dry! Thomas! Oh. Excuse me, Ambassador, perhaps later. That guy Thomas, knows. Oh, that is interesting. I know you're there. What the hell did you come down here? It was terrible. Thomas. Oh, yeah, because he was there, of course. Important. I'm an idiot. But if it involves the Volon, you must inform Commander Sinclair. I was wondering, like, no, how does he know? Oh, my brain, it's a Friday this episode. Just get on a ship and leave right now. Oh, yeah, he's right. Promise me. He knows. He needs to survive. There they are. Oh no! Oh, you've got to be joking, man. You've got ten minutes. Oh, come on, please get up. If you don't show, we feed your friend to the Vorlon. Witnesses yeah, he's been kidnapped. Someone hanging around earlier. From the description, sounds like one of Deuce's men. I'm on my way. Oh no! Kosh is hungry again! Oh, this, this is so pain. weird! Don't worry, it won't last long. And we've learned so much about the Vorlons in this single episode. Unbelievable. Commander! I really hope people see this. No, wait, wait, you gotta help me! They got all this, they took him, and Deuce is gonna feed him to the Vorlon! Vorlon? Like the woman, and he ate her mind, and he's gonna eat all this. You gotta help me! I'll get a security Oh my god. Now? Garibaldi, track my signal. Jinxo's taking me to Deuce and the feeder. They've got all this too. Get a security oh. team there on the double. We'll do. Let's go! Oh, this is brilliant. It's all kicking off. Come on, please get there in time, Jeff. Oh, this is disgusting. This man is under my protection. What are you doing? Save yourself! This guy is so brave, what the hell? So selfless.
That is terrifying. That's crazy though. I mean, I don't know what I was expecting Clash to look like, but. The feeder's in here somewhere. So's Aldous. Oh. That is so scary, man. Imagine, like, look, turn around and seeing that. That's the thing. Clash can literally just go around. Because that's not even Clash, though. Like, come on. You're a savage species. Go round, just pulling this thing on everyone's head. Swipe everybody's brains. Oh no! Oh, what is this guy's problem, Deuce? Dex Franklin, medical emergency in Brown Nine. I'll have a man standing by to guide you in. Too late. Don't say that. You're gonna be fine. No. What? No one left. No one. Yes, there is. I'll do it. I'll find oh. you. Thomas. I want to do it. Ah, uh, that'd be amazing, actually. I'll find it, Aldous. I swear, I'll find it. That would honest. Ah, oh, that that's amazing. That's honestly amazing. I named Thomas. Heir and successor. Everything I have. I witnessed this last testament. Amazing. Amazing end of the episode. If this even is the end, but. The Grail. I can't believe he's dead, though. It looked like he only got shot in the arm. This. Or maybe it's a chest, but it looked like it was like here. So I don't know how he's died from that, but. But the Vorlons, oh man. I don't know what to think though, it's just like a. We've confiscated the fake encounter suit. It's a pretty close match to your own, at least from the outside. Oh my Deuce god. Deuce wanted the people to think that he had the Vorlons. Why am I such a dumb. Him. Figured it would add to what? his image and... Of course it's not cost. This arm is completely different. Oh my god, my brain is absurd. Well, after all, no one knows exactly what you look like. Oh, that's fascinating though, how they use that species to act like it was Kosh. But I was thinking as well, it looks different. Like, there's all colours on Kosh. All different, like, you. materials and textures. And all that being there is nothing. After all, I'm not surprised but, to see you. Yeah, it's all Deuce's plan. Just felt like someone should be. I'm actually embarrassed that it took me so long to catch on to that. Like, it's that's ridiculous. The entire thing, I didn't realise. I thought it was still cost. <laughs> oh are my you speaking god. Of Aldous? People in the comments are gonna be murdering me. Aldous. Oh, but Delenn, I don't wrong. like you. He found what he was looking for. What we were yeah. all looking for. Everything. His new hair. He found his new hair. His new successor. Commander. Ambassador. But to end this episode, seems like she's so controlling over Jeff, as if like, she controls him. Supposed to be here to see which him. we got some sort you of know, idea home. that she does, seen. because hole in her brain. Yeah, well, Delenn Jigs. appointed. Jigs like, not the type to keep Jeff. promises. So there's some sort of control over Jeff, over his mind, and to then has control over Jeff's mind. So it was almost in this episode she's been so obvious about it for some reason. I love this guy, by the way. I really hope we see more of this guy. I really hope so. Put this on the ground where he rests and crush it. It will glow each night for a hundred years. Oh wow. It is our way with all true seekers. That's amazing, actually. I just still can't get my head around <laughs> how I thought that was Kosh. Like, this suit looked nothing like it. I was thinking the entire episode, it doesn't look anything like Kosh, but it's just so convincing the way like, the thing opened. 
Ah. Smart plan though from Deuce and his hey. racket. Take care, Jingso. <laughs> Thomas. My name is Thomas. He's gonna start talking like that as well. It's Thomas. I mean, good on you, honestly. Ah, oh, great episode, honestly. Are I thought sure it's dead. Interesting. I'm positive. It's dead as a rock. <laughs> oh man. I saw it with my own eyes. And Longo is still hiding. How He's been hiding for, for, for days. I laughed so hard at him, just left him in there. Planet. Didn't tell him it was still well, it, that was dead. Well. There you are, Veer. I told you there was nothing to worry about. <laughs> He's young. Sometimes he yeah, comes. You know how it is. Definitely Londo. 100%. Where is it? The doc's dissecting it. Wants to try and figure out how it can move so fast. When they're about to attack, they get quiet. So the key is, as long as you can hear them, as long as there's noise around, you're safe. But if you ever hear nothing, worry. What did Garibaldi say like that as well? So interesting. <laughs> as if to scare them too. It's very interesting. <sighs> she locked the door. It's quiet out here, isn't it? Oh, for fuck! What? Are you oh my god, this guy's an absolute idiot. Ambassador, Lando, open the door, Lando. Oh no, this one's so quiet. He's open after me. Door, I love the comedy music. There it's great. Goes. Jinx. Thomas. Let's hope Babylon 5 doesn't blow up now. Or we'll sound fire. You know, that bit about if he leaves Babylon 5, the same thing that happened to Babylon's 1, 2, 3, and 4 would happen to us. Oh, that curse. You're not taking it Let's seriously. Let's not hope that happens. Me? No, of course not. You? No. So, <laughs> how long until he hits jump? Imagine that oh. actually happens, though. Right about now. Now. Babylon. No, boom. No boom today. Boom tomorrow. There's always a boom tomorrow. What? Look, somebody's got to have some damn perspective around here. Boom. I mean, it's true. There's Sooner always something going on. Boom! Okay, calm down in one of them. All right, interesting episode. I went by really fast as well. But I just still can't believe I believed that was Kosh. <laughs> Such an idiot. Um, yeah, good episode. It didn't really build on too much, but I uh, really enjoyed the plot with the guy searching for the Holy Grail. And in the end, Thomas, the new Thomas, well, not the new Thomas, the to yeah, well, the new Thomas in terms of him finding a new thing in his life, finding a purpose, and now he's gone to continue the quest for the Holy Grail. Yeah, I do really hope you enjoyed, and uh, yeah, until the next one, goodbye.